Scott. Good evening, everyone, and happy holidays. Cheyenne Mountain graduate Rachel Flat will always be an Olympian. However, years after she's hung up her figure skates for good, she's realizing her second calling with Team USA might just be her most important. She's got a standing ovation and she's not even finished yet. That was a beautiful program. Good for her. Those iconic moments on the ice will always be a part of Rachel Flatt's story. And she has the battle scars to prove it. My body is definitely glad to be done with all the training. <laughs> um, it's, everything creaks and pops these days. More than five years after she retired from competitive figure skating, the U.S. champion and 2010 Olympian is now building up a different part of the body, her brain. I'm learning something new every day and definitely getting challenged quite a bit, but <laughs> it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as fun if, I, if it wasn't challenging. Earning a degree from Stanford and currently working on her clinical psych PhD at UNC. I realized that I was actually more interested in mental health than building resources out to address the needs of very specific populations and in particular athletes. Last week, Flat was able to put both chapters of her life into a new venture as a member of Team USA's Mental Health Task Force. I knew this would be uh, an opportunity that I had to jump on because I feel like this is a great way I contribute. I can contribute not only as an athlete and with those experiences and that perspective, but also as a, you know, kind of a newer research or budding researcher and clinician and kind of merging those two skill sets together. She's jumping right into the routine of helping fellow Olympians. Many currently dealing with the disappointment of the postponed 2020 Tokyo Games. A lot of athletes, this is truly the pinnacle of their career. I just can't imagine what all these athletes are going through and even the staff, coaches, etc. It's just a huge emotional toll and lots to adjust to and I you know, hope we can provide as much support to them as we can. While her skating days may be over, Rachel Flatt is proving you can always find a new way to be on the cutting edge and make your country proud in the process. I think if this had happened 10 years ago, we probably wouldn't have even be having this conversation about mental health, which for me, I'm thrilled that we're able to do this now, but at the same time, we still have a long ways to go. A huge thank you to Rachel Flatt for her time and sharing her story. Cannot wait to see the impact she has off the ice moving forward.